Good evening, my friends. Believe it or not, this is the third time that I've tried to make this little video. It's a short video in the book of Jude. You'll like it, but I keep making some silly mistakes. I think I've got them straightened out. We're going to talk about Jude 1.9 in just a minute. Thank you, Father God, for giving us an understanding of the Bible that we might use it to the saving knowledge of some poor soul out there that's lost, that they might know Jesus as their Lord and Savior and be found. Oh, Lord, thank you. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Jude starts out, he was going to um, talk about the plan of salvation. He's going to talk about how to lead people to Christ. And, and uh, th then he decided that Maybe it would be more important right now if he warned us of wolves in sheep's clothing, unholy ministers of the gospel, false prophets. Yeah, there was a lot of those in those days, and there's a lot today. They're on TV, and they're all throughout the world. Satan teaches them to preach nine-tenths truth and then slip in the lie. Well, we don't want any lies. God doesn't like that, and we try hard not to do it. But what does verse 9 say? Well, the archangel... Michael and Satan are fighting over the body of Moses. We don't know exactly why. We have some ideas, but it doesn't really tell us conclusively. But in the end, Michael wins out by saying to Satan, the Lord rebuke thee. My friends, in this little video, that's the key in your life. Don't try to take on Satan and his demons. That's the Lord's, that's the Lord's business. You just need to be steadfast in studying the Bible, in praying to Almighty God in the name of Jesus through the power of the Holy Spirit. You need to be prepared only preparation that you can ever have that will last for all of eternity is the preparation you get from the Bible. You see, we don't have the wherewithal to go one-on-one -on -one with Satan. A lot of people think they can. No, let the Lord take care of Satan. He knows his time is short. And as a born-again Christian somebody who's been born from above by Almighty God, by receiving the Lord as their Lord and Savior, Jesus, he, he wants you to be safe and secure, and he wants you to live with him forever. So the key here is when in doubt, when you have adversity, when there's a problem, take it to God in the name of Jesus through the power of the Holy Spirit and you can't go wrong. Jude did a good job of warning us about false prophets. They're on TV. Many of them won't talk about some of the serious problems that mankind has, killing little babies, abortion being legal. That's never going to be right, folks. That is never going to be right, no matter how many legislatures say it's okay. It's not okay, and it never will be. And there are other things, too. You know what they are. Remember, the Lord rebuke thee. When in any, any problems that you have, just let Lord, the Lord take over. Okay? 
One last thing about the coronavirus. If you do your part, things will get better faster. Do what they tell you to. Stay separated, wash your hands. Don't go out in crowds. It'll get better soon. I love baseball and football and golf and as much as anybody. But let's do it in the right time. Let us pray. Thank you once again, Father God, for this little video. Teach us the things we need to know, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. So we can obey you and know how to conduct ourselves. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow, Lord willing. Bye-bye.